Stim.io is a cloud PC provider that offers personal cloud gaming machines and workstation cloud PCs for professional teams. For this overview, we'll be discussing the cloud gaming aspect. Stim can be accessed through the browser. They also have apps for Windows, Macs, Android, and iOS devices. Are you looking to get set up with your own machine with up to a power of an RTX 4090 with Stim.io? Let's jump in. So for this tutorial, we're going to be doing this on the desktop with access through the browser. We'll have other videos on getting set up with other supported devices in later videos. Click on the cloud gaming section to get started. It'll take you right to the machine selection screen. Here's where you'll choose the machine you're looking for. They have several tiers of different powered machines up to the power of an RTX 4090 with the NVIDIA L40S. First, choose the server that is closest to you. Then choose the performance level that you want. Stim has two different options when it comes to gaining access. They have a pay-as-you-go method and an access pass, which is a monthly subscription. Now it's up to you what you choose, but the monthly subscription will save you a ton of money in the long run. On top of this, using our sign-up link in the description will give you $10 toward your account, and they will also give you an additional 10 gigabytes worth of storage space, but only if you get a monthly subscription. Now once you choose a machine and an access method, and then you will have the option to choose Linux, Android, or Windows 10. Right now, only Windows is available, so hit continue. They will want you to sign up for an account or sign in if you already have one. Now it will come to the payment page. They use the Stripe payment method which allows Amazon Pay and Google Pay. Plus they support credit card payments, Cash App, and directly from your bank account. If you were looking to get a machine with the 4090, it will cost you $60 a month which includes Windows. This price will decrease if you sign up for a longer term subscription. Also note that they have monthly bandwidth data caps. Now once your payment goes through, starting your cloud PC might take about 6 minutes, so please be patient. Once your machine loads, it'll give you the option to use the Steam Big Picture Mode or the Windows Desktop. If you are comfortable using Big Picture Mode, feel free to use it. But for this demo, we'll be using the Windows Desktop Mode. The cloud PC Steam provides is a fully fledged Windows PC where you can install and play just about any game you want. Now let's talk about the Steam UI. Stim has several buttons that allow you to adjust the stream quality, adjust active game pads, and bring up the session menu. This mouse button, or F12, will lock your cursor in the window. Very useful if you're using dual monitors. The square icon at the bottom right makes you go full screen. Also, you can use F11. You can also hide the UI altogether with this button. The button on the top left will end your session. Now be aware that Stim only supports a resolution up to 2K or 1440p at this time. This is also determined on which performance tier you get. They are currently working on supporting 4K along with the AV1 codec. Make sure you're subscribed to keep on top of those updates. Now once you're finished with your session, use the menu or the exit button to quit. Now you will see your current cloud PC status. Hit the red stop button to stop your machine and the cloud storage saving process will begin. This process will save all your downloaded games and files and can take around 30 minutes to complete. You cannot start your machine back up until this is done. Once the save process is complete, you will have the option to back up that PC or create a new one. But be aware that this will use more of your monthly storage to get this accomplished. You can add more storage by purchasing it or earning more with referrals. You can also delete your PC once your save process is complete if you feel like you want to start all over again by making a new one. So that wraps up the basics in getting started with Stim. Stim also has a social aspect as well. You can view other videos from users in this section. If you need any additional help from the platform, feel free to view their FAQ section. You can also contact Stim by emailing them, which will create a support ticket. And finally, if you're looking to unsubscribe from Stim, go to their wallet page. Click on the three dots right next to your active subscription, hit the cancel button, and then confirm you should be good to go for the rest of the duration of the subscription time. Now remember, if you're looking to get signed up for a monthly subscription of Stim, use the link in the description and get $10 toward your account, and you will also get an additional 10 gigabytes worth of storage space. So if you like this getting started guide for Stim.io, give us a like. Also, make sure to join as a member of the channel or join our Patreon and our Discord in the links below. And above all else, make sure to subscribe to keep it locked right here at the only place we can do battle in gaming heaven, Cloud Gaming Battle.